All of these insects that you see behind me have a completely clear exoskeleton. The only reason that you see color is the way that exoskeleton is shaped and formed, which reflects light in different ways, kind of like a prism. This is called structural color, and we're going to talk about that today because in the next few videos, I am going to be talking about different structures that insects have to create different colors. Structural color is different than pigments, and I get a lot of questions on exactly how they're different because pigments also absorb different colors and reflect others, so how are they actually different? Well, today we're gonna talk about how they're actually different. This moth behind me is using pigment. Pigments are specific molecules. They have a specific shape, and each pigment will produce a different color. You can even modify some pigments, like eumelanin, to get slightly different variations the idea of pigments is even though they are absorbing some wavelengths of light and reflecting others, it is a specific molecule. That molecule will always look the same and that molecule will always produce only one color. That is in direct contrast to all of these insects that are producing these colors using the exact same molecule. The molecule that these insects are using is called chitin, and this is what the exoskeleton is formed out of. Chitin is a long sugar chain, it's a polysaccharide, and it's transparent and flexible. Chitin can be imbued with different pigments, and it can also be strengthened through a process of sclerotization. If you're interested in that, I have a YouTube video about it. The ways that insects can create different colors using just chitin is really diverse. You can stack it up in lots and lots of layers. You can create little crystalline structures. You can create these little staircase structures. You can even have little divots or bumps or curves. And all of these different shapes reflect light in different ways to produce different properties. Sometimes insects are more of a matte color. Sometimes they're really shiny and gold. And sometimes you can only see their iridescence from specific angles. Any insects you find that are shiny are using structural color. Also, insects that are green or blue, those colors are very difficult to create using pigments, and so it is most likely, almost like 99% of the time, created using a structure. In many cases, insects use both pigments and structures working together to create mats, to create glosses, or to bring out specific colors that neither a pigment or a structure could do on their own. 